I feel like all mines up to something. With these new arena matches, they're kind of taking collective data from us and every faction and AC involved, and they're trying to like create this new mind model, which is like a comprehensive type of automotive AC that doesn't exactly need anybody to pilot it. They're kind of tough too, by the way. I almost died to some of them, but uh, yeah. I wonder what this... Uh, I wonder if All Mind is like canonically going to have a their own section in, inside the story, or are they just kind of their own? Hey, we're the arena guys, but we'll see. Anyways, moving on. We're getting to, we're at the midpoint of chapter three, basically the long chapter, and uh, yeah, new mission: Southern Bellius destroy two of the top ranking independent mercenaries. This will be interesting because this is two new enemies, basically that we haven't found. From the Rubicon Liberation Front. Here's the briefing. Raven, we have a mission we'd like you to take on. The objective is to defend the Gallia Dam complex in the Bellius region. Archibus has been stepping up pressure on the Rubiconians while fighting the PCA. They must be laying the groundwork to take effective control over the entire planet. Well, not wrong about that, as we saw. Dispatched two high-ranking independent mercenaries to raid the dam. These guys are new. You'll need to be ready to take on both ACs at once. Aster Crown, Crown. and Umbrox. Umbrox? As you know, we have few cards to play. Okay. Well, it's personal now. I hope we can count on you. This guy trying to steal the Umbra name? No shot. Oh, interesting. Okay, I remember fighting them, though, in the... I remember fighting them in the arena, and I was like, who are these guys? Oh, that's who they are. The arenas. Arena canonical? Oh my god. Yeah, apparently these guys are part of, like, their own independent mercenary, like, faction, where, like, there's four members only, but all four of them are pretty top contenders in the arena. So, or in their own, they have their own name out there. So, okay. So I gotta kill both of them at once. It's about to go down after this. Fucking Umbra Ox. It's a her? What if, it, what if it's an it? Because there are no... Everyone's a flippin' mech in this game. Also cool, look, there's ally enemy, ally uh, mechs this time. Okay, there they are. Oh, really? Are you sure, huh, Umbra Ox? Are you sure, Umbra, huh? Huh, Umbra, you want to see my face and you can handle this alone? Me. Hey. That's right. You're just a Gen 4. You belong Okay, Ezreal. Get out of here. I'm the real, I'm the real Umbra. That's right. all to me now. Oh fuck. Ah. Come on, show me what you got, king. There we go, now we're in it. What? Another one? No. I was almost done killing King. Do you read me, Raven? Oh shit, it's Raven, Your the real one. Must be an impressive pilot to take on the two of them at once. Oh shit, the real Raven appears here. Let's see how far they can fly. On borrowed wings. Damn, it's the real Raven and the fake Umbra. 
Taking on all comers this time. Alright, good. Thanks. I try my best. Alright, here he comes. That's right. And you're about to lose so much more. Now get your ass down here. Sound off. Why is he taking forever? There we go. Alright, go on. Heal, heal. His call sign is Nightfall? That's pretty cool. Ah! Oh shit! Oh my god. Okay, that was bullshit though. Okay, I got stuck against a wall and then he activated his pulse explosion at half health because they're programmed to do that. That's not fair. Okay. Oh, I gotta redo both? Okay. I will do King this time. Why not? Actually, I should do it quick. You must be Raven. Not a name I expected to see attached to a hostile AC. You know our priority, Chartreuse. Let me deal with this. Give me a break, King. That bossy attitude of yours doesn't do you any favors. This is more of a challenge than I'd anticipated. Ah. I haven't seen anything like this since. Together, Chartreuse. Great. There's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, yeah. Wait, who's shooting me now? Oh, it's the other one. Fuck. One repair kit remaining. Not good. This is actually isn't going well. Oh my god. Huh? Oh shit. This ain't good. Oh god. Careful, careful you don't wind up like you, more like. I think I need more firepower for this fight, I'll be honest. <laughs> I will kill Chartreuse at least. Yeah. Okay, now I can die. I'm toast. No, more like a 3v1, that's what. God damn. Alright. It's time to bust out uh, some more firepower this time. Actually, I've been meaning to showcase these two because they're kind of... They're kind of busted. So I'll do it for this mission just because I need some more stopping power. Oh, I can run these, but I can't run these. Oh, that sucks. I want to run these so bad. Actually, should I... Hmm. Actually, let's run the Zimmermans. Because the more stun I get, the better. Yeah, I'll do that instead. We'll try that this time, because then I can s easy swap to my Moonlight faster. And I want to hurry too, because the faster I can get there, the sooner and more my allies are alive. You so. must be Raven. Not a name I expected to see attached to a hostile AC. There we go. You know our priority, Chartreuse. Let me deal with this. Oh, look at this. Oh 
Oh fuck. Together, shark troops. There we go. Die just from this, Jesus! Okay, I'm a, I'm a reset. I'm because I'm gonna die from this already. I think Chartreuse is better to start with then, because every time the backup has been sooner than later. So I'll do this instead. Okay. This is a branch mission. I'll support you. This is a great. It's the Gen 4. You belong in a museum, not a C. Because King is the one that has the pulse explosion. Together, Chartreuse. Alright. Oh my god. This pilot's no rave. Don't let the call sign mislead you. Okay. Why won't you die? Chartreuse! Withdraw! Abandon your AC! AC on the rocks. Oh my god. Do I have to bust out the plasma? I think I'm, I'm being too aggro, obviously, but I'm on a time frame too. I think I'll try the plasma. I said I wouldn't do it. But I'm gonna do it. Just for this one. And see how I fare. Nice part about it is that I can actually... I have the EN capacity for it. I don't have to change my build. Oh, no I do. I think I just need to change my generator though. Yeah. I want to actually restart the mission because last time I did, I had more time to kill Shetrus. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get started, Raven. Astro Crown's pilot, Call Sign King, has an eighty-nine point six percent mission success rate. Yeah, it just doesn't help that they're both heavy shooters. So, so if I get hit by one. One of their explosives, I'm fucked. One thing I should consider though is retreat. Because I can use the the, the mobs the not mobs beside me to take care of the objective king. I'll clip this one. Yeah, look at that. There's no effort at all when it comes to the plasma. Easy that was. Oh my god. Fucking plasma. 
I don't have my expansion though anymore, so but I'm gonna do it like this. Raven's coming to me, right? So I'll just bait him to all the Rubiconian mobs so that they can do chip damage to him. There we go. And he uses the pulse shield as well, so. so I'm, I'm trying to keep my distance right now. So nervous to get close to him. Left hand ammunition at fifty percent. Right hand ammunition at fifty percent. I think he's out of uh, repair kits. There we go. Here it is. Oh what? I still missed. There we go. Yeah, this is why I'm not using plasma. By the way. This is why I'm not using it anymore, because it's just right. so low skill. We'll watch this one. All I do is shoot, and then Raven's when it's on CD, it doesn't matter. I just switch to my Moonlight. Mission accomplished. Yep. Okay, that was hard. That was really hard. I'm going to have to think of a good strategy to do this on S rank. But that was also... A very nice surprise. Got to see got to see the real Raven again and put an end to him. And the fake Umbra. We got ourselves a deal, Handler Walter. Michigan. So, Archibus met us halfway. I gave them the heavy warship fleet. In exchange, Balaam's in charge of putting down the beast. They also offered some top Vespers. <laughs> Guess they don't trust us. Better than nothing. I'll provide what support I can, too. Yeah, you're mad scientists. R.A.D. or whatever. And that hound of yours. Michigan. Don't underestimate 621. That hound always delivers. I think the next couple of missions are going to be the... The independent mercenaries who attacked you. Uh, that's what they call it, Branch. they don't have a fixed membership. Yeah, but there's four of them, right? Instead, they maintain independence and anonymity with a revolving door of select mercenaries. Now, it seems they've left it to you to champion the free will they stood for. Sooner or later, you'll have to make a choice no one can make for you. When that time comes, I hope I can support you, Raven. Hey, don't worry, I won't turn your turn my back on you this time. One new message. This isn't that playthrough. Time for work, six two one. This next mission's all or nothing. Oh, are we doing the ice sure worm already? Yeah, I think it is the ice worm. Okay. I thought there'd be one more mission, but I think this is it. Yep, it's the Ice Worm and the end of Chapter 3. Perfect. Well, let me just quickly change back to my main loadout. And then we are ready to go. Whoops. Oh, wait. Eh. That's how you go up a tab faster. Oh my god, so many weapons now. Perfect. Oh, I can buy these out now. Good. Only two more items to buy. 
And uh, yeah, because if you go to the arena here, if I recall correctly, the ones that are a part of Branch are um, the two that we killed, obviously. And the others I just want to showcase real quick. Not Cold Call. No, not Cold Call. Some of them actually don't, haven't even appeared in the game yet, like Cold Call. He's just like a mercenary, that's all. It's a uh, chartreuse. There's the one. Branch is made out of out of a rotating group of four people. Chartreuse is believed to be the second oldest of the current roster. So that's one of them. Uh, there we have King, the one, the other one we killed. Uh, Hacktivist Collective, active in the Rubicon system, can found an entire fleet of heavy warships in a solo diversionary maneuver during the attack on Station Thirty One. Yeah, so we have King. And then the other two, I think, are here, too. Chartreuse. Oh, I guess they aren't. Crap, I thought all four of them would have been here. Nope. But it looks like some of them are missing. Like, some of them are here, and they're not exactly part... I haven't seen them yet, exactly. Like, we've seen... Ring Freddy. Oh, I've actually seen him. He's a uh, part of the RLF. We won't see him this playthrough because I didn't choose this decision, but he he's actually a very hidden uh, AC. Um, and yeah, everyone else is... Pretty oh, Nosak, that's the guy we found underneath uh, in the little pipe area. <laughs> Fucking guy. But uh, yeah, okay. Interesting. So those are the only two branch members the other two are unnamed listen up 621 this will be a joint operation led by Balaam and Archibus the briefing's about to start I want you to attend first some background before we go into detail the intercorporate ceasefire is now in effect and we will be carrying out coordinated attacks against the PCA. Wait, I wonder if this would have played out differently if I killed Iguasu. Well, I, I technically did to kill Iguasu already, the but yeah. Fleet and the recently activated I'll cut to the chase. This is an all-out war against the PCA in theaters across Rubicon. And you all got the short end of the stick. You're here to take on the worst of our dirty work, hunting the beast of the ice field. Sure thing, Chief. Tell you what, I'll watch and let you know how badly that goes for us. Gun 5, you just volunteered yourself for the front line. I love that line. The Gun 5, on, you just volunteered yourself for the front line. The coral shield. You'll be dealing with a layered barrier made up of a primary and a secondary shield. Archibus will provide the means to break the first layer. State-of-the-art stun needle launcher. Aim for the face, and it will deliver results, I assure you. What about the second layer? R.A.D.'s cooked up just the thing. A neat little toy we call the Overed Rail Cannon. If we divert the spaceport standby power to the ORC, it should hit hard enough, assuming we land the shot. You can leave that to me. I know a thing or two about sharpshooting. I'll oversee operations on the ground. A ragtag crew like this needs leadership. We could use some more suppressive fire. I'll send Chatty. That just leaves the question of who will be taking charge of the stun needle launcher. That's me. I know just the volunteer to go poke that beast with a stick. Gun 13. Gun 13. You get all that? Good. Time for another field trip. I wish they showed my actual mech. All right, which is a good thing. I should check uh, my specs, and since I have two of them, I can actually equip twice the twice the loadout. Where the fuck is it? Oh my god, I have too many weapons. Oh wait, it's the wrong it's the wrong attachment setting. Uh, where's the stinger? There it is. Might as well equip two of them. Why not? I can. I am rich. I have two. Oh my god, my color scheme looks whack with this. Alright. 
And I will actually change back to my plasma just because these things will do no damage to the flippin' uh... It will do no damage to the... To the boss. And I just need to do a set amount of damage, so I'll just use it for this mission. And yeah, I know, my EN shortfall. So I just gotta change my... Where is the generator that puts me at the top? Wait, is there none? This is the highest one, damn. Yeah, it is the highest one, okay. I need to change out something then. No, it's only a generator that does that. Damn, this is the generator with the highest EN load though. Nothing else even comes close to it, okay. Hmm. What can I get rid of then? Aha. There. I can equip this chassis. Sure. For this fight, we'll do that. There you go. Because my build doesn't really matter. It's not every day. Just don't miss 621. Alright. I'm about to show you how to get the first shot in so quickly. Because uh when I had to speedrun this for the S rank. It's time, 621. Learned its first attack. This mission depends upon you, Raven. Let's go. All right, so here's the trick. You want to do... Commence mission. Michigan will take command. You want to strafe off to the side. Commencing operation with combined AC force as per the Bela Markibus agreement. And then watch your compass right here. Out, Time to die. So it's going to spawn here. You wait for it. It's going to go up here now. There you go. You get a free shot. Shield loss confirmed. Initializing ORC firing sequence. There you go. And before Iguaza can even finish his sentence, you got the first shot off. Opening energy turbines. Output at 80%. Sighting correction A-OK. This has got to be the most badass line too. I won't miss. Here it comes. So cool. There we go, big damage. That freak actually did it. Did what? The bare minimum. This is just the first hurdle. The targets deployed drones, tourist. Lucky. Got a second hit right off the bat. So it's surprising to see Iguaza still alive. Usually he dies about now. Watch out, Watch out for friendly, friendly fire. fire. Secondary shield down. It's all yours now, buddy. Kill him. There we go. They're probably gonna die here though now. Snail and Iguaza die here. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It's like they're clearly dead here, but nope, they're alive. Like things just took a nasty turn. I'll set the ORC to maximum output. We can't afford to lose control of the situation. Ice is compromised. This next shot will be my last. Oh fuck! Okay. Ah, I tried. Okay, chatty. Nope. 
Oh, this is the one where it moves. Yeah, it moves its head. Nice. Got my double shot off. Good work, buddy. Lucky me. All EML modules connected. Energy turbines at full capacity. Output at 80. To be honest, if this was a S rank attempt, I think this would this would be an S rank. I made really good time. All or nothing. All or nothing. Wait, Chetty's still alive. I just realized. <laughs> hey. This is also the first ice worm that Chatty's still alive. Get clear, it's gonna blow. Oh no, Chatty, don't die to it. I swear, if Chatty died to the explosion. Nice. A 400. The temporary alliance between the Archivist and Balaam groups turned the tide of war. Devastating the Planetary Closure Administration forces and exiling them from Rubicon. Though it was the Ice Worm mission led by Balaam that dealt the decisive blow, Archivists, through their own engagements with the PCA, augmented their strength with seized weaponry. When they say engagements, the do they mean the like deals or the scales their own personal attacks? Favor. And the Rubicon Liberation Front's hopes of fighting an exhausted foe were dashed. Okay, so Archivists wins no matter what. Got it. With the loss of their common enemy, the rival faction's war for the Coral abruptly reignited. And their bitter conflict burned with renewed intensity. Augmented Human C4621 entering standard mode. Two new messages. Doing okay, 621. I'd wanted to let you rest some more, but the corpse are on the move already. With the PCA gone, it's back to work, getting to where the coral's gathering. Do you remember the survey you carried out at Xylem? My friend analyzed the data and learned about a massive facility under the central ice field. Watch point Alpha. Turns out that the Ice Worm was defending the entrance to that place. It's time to let ourselves in. Mm. 
Raven, there's something you need to know. That friend Walter mentioned. The comms database has no record of the conversation he just told you about. Right, because it's Carla. And Raven. she's a she's a hacker, that's why. He's after something more, and he's using you to do it. Here on Rubicon. Okay. The second number RB twenty three. It's all mind. Raven. We have added new samples to the integration program. Oh sweet. Even though I just you did may the now new test ones. Updates to mind beta and verify reproductions of special ACs. What? I'm still on mind beta? We look forward to your continued assistance in all minds drive toward perfection. What about mind Charlie? Okay. Oh and new parts. Sweet. Well, what's the new arena? Phase 3. Oh no, Mind Gamma. Okay. So we're skipping C, we're skipping D and E, and F. We're just going straight to G. Institute Nightfall. Oh, Nightfall. That's uh, Raven's faction, or Raven's call sign. Each and every operation of their ACs determine their odds of survival. No choice but to perceive their ACs as extensions of their bodies. Cool. If anything, I'll equip the Nightfall one because that's me. All right, nice. I'll do these after this episode. Let's check out the new parts. Stun gun. What? This looks like a glue gun. Wait, what? Electrified probes, the effects of which induce a forced discharge. Oh, nice. And it sticks to enemies, too. It does, like, periodic damage. Nice, okay. Although right now it looks like a fuel tank when I'm carrying it. Alright, what else is there? Uh, laser slicer. Oh shit, wait, that's the Naginata that, uh, um... It's the Naginata that... Oh no, not, not the Naginata, it's the... Twin blades that... Rusty uses against you. Oh shit, nice. Rotating system to carve through targets. Charge to increase rotation speed and advance aggressively while slashing through incoming fire. One, two. Just really good damage, too. God damn. Should I give it a try? Yeah, we can give it a try. Sure. Laser cannon. Damn. Three of them? Triple barreled. Fire from all barrels provide overwhelming offensive potential. Hefty EN. I'll say, oh my gosh, that puts me over the top. Then, I, then again, I'm, I'm equipped right now with two stingers, so I gotta change that. Pulse cannon. Okay. Just one for the shoulders now. Bullet orbit. Oh, cool. Now there's one for, um... One for just bullets. Nice. So I could, I could have a bullet one and a laser one at the same time. Although the bullet one's much more simul- like, it's much faster. Yeah. It's like a burst shot. Okay. I might save up for that then. Uh, these three I know... Pulse Scrutum. Oh, it's a shield, okay. Must remain idle for a short time to exhibit its true potential. Okay. And one more generator. Okay, well let's give those uh, twin blades a shot. Time to go back to my usual setup too. There we go. Yes, yeah, so let's give it a try. So the left back unit I used for my weapon. So that'd be... Oh god, too many weapons. Where's my melee at? Uh... Is it here? Laser drone... No, it's not. This is my heavy. Oh, no, this is the right one, right? The right one can only have... Uh, can only have... This, yeah. So I need this to be it. Alright, where are you? What would you be under? Nope. Next category. Laser blade, laser slicer. There we go, we'll try that. 
light wave blade. Yeah, I'll probably still just keep using the light wave blade because I just like the sword beam. It's too damn good. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll use the slicer. Just to spice things up. All right, nice. Let's keep going. Oh god, this mission again. Fuck. Why are we already here? I hate this mission. Here's the job, 621. I don't even want to hear it. Watchpoint Alpha. I know, even Air doesn't like it either. This this mission's annoying. Descent into madness. Good thing I have the terminal armor though. But yeah. This one is rather 621. simple. You ready? Yes, all I have to do is fall down. Very simple. Canonically, I did. Still, you're the only one who can do this. That's not true. I'm counting on you. How did the Archibus the and the Balam group get down here after? All oh, right, it's after I disabled this piece of shit. That's why. Main system activating combat. All right, I do remember the tech I used though to get down here. But first, I want to test out this thing. Whoops, I mean. Okay, so that's the hold. What if I just tap it? So it's still a one-handed thing. Okay. What are you doing, six two one? Access the elevator and take it down. Shh, fuck up, Walter, before I cut comms with you. Okay, maybe I can only combo it when I. Uh, when I use, when it hits an enemy. All right, let's go. It's faster if I do this. All right. What? What the fuck? Okay. Apparently, all right, I forgot. There's things that shoot me from above too. That's annoying. I already took damage. Ooh, nice. That's a very flashy animation. That's a long animation, though. That's why I like the Moonlight Blade for. It's a, it's a, it's a good hit and run. It doesn't have too much of a big animation drag. heal yet. If I get my terminal, then it's okay. Okay. It's changed its combat routine, Raven. Watch out for those plasma missiles. Wait for the sound sound cue. Now. It's safe to go once it uses all its beams. It's tracking you, 621. Evasive action. AP at 30%. Oh, I see. So there's enemies in these fucking areas. Two Pieces of shit. Remaining. to doing this part by sound only. Okay, now. 
doesn't even matter. You're up close now, 621. Destroy the target. Raven, it'll be easier to immobilize if you aim for the neck joint. I am the neck joint. There we go. And that's the end of that. Confirmed. Target destroyed. Mission accomplished. Let's rest while we can, Raven. We've got a long road ahead of us. Mission complete. It is a skill check in a sense uh, to S rank that. No new messages. You need to be talented at falling. Okay. Nice and easy. Let's keep going. Depth number two. Yeah, these ones come in groups of threes. The depth missions. Here comes the follow up 621. You're going to be exploring depth two. The sector is made up of a sprawling rail network designed to transport resources. It'll be a complex route, with a lot of blind spots. Be ready for close quarters combat. Raven, there's something you should know. I've obtained the comms log from the Balin squad that went in before you. It looks like they have another mission here, and it's not part of their survey. Guardmax won't be the only threat. Balaam's agenda is just as dangerous. So don't trust the corpse. Yeah, who would have thought? Alright, let's keep going. Oh wait. Just so you know, 621. My radar won't be able to reach the lower depths. I forgot to change my torso to trust your back to my ears. original. I'll 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 do it later. I forgot, I changed it just for the ice worm to compensate for my EN. Ah, oh, we're good though. Main system, activating combat mode. Alright, nice. Picking up right where we left off, as you can see. This is where the That's where we came from. Although, it's put together now. It was destroyed, I destroyed it. Canonically. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Oh, crap. Ah, okay, yeah, so it does combo, but only if I land the first hit. Right, I can't go here yet. I need to interact with this first. According to the structural drawings, the route continues past this partition. It looks like the power's out. Need to go down. An ambush. Oh no. Wait for you, Raven. You're gonna die, traitor. Sounds Damn. like you found Balaam's MTs. Why is and Balaam here? <laughs> Who would have thought? Control panel identified. Oh. Let's get the power back on time. The elevator's back on line too. Let's take it back up to the upper level. Uh where is it again? It's here. Everything's so grey, it's kinda hard sometimes to see. Right. Can I identify Iguaza? Nope, he's not showing up yet. Wait, why is there a comms log here? Where's Iguaza? STV's notes. Caught a couple of hired killers on the prowl. Managed to sneak in a sketch without being noticed. The fool won't pay back what he owes, one said. Interesting, I'm not scanning Iguaza. It seems we're alone. What? He's not here this time. Oh! 
Hold call. Oh. Now you're here. Wait, hold on. I'm playing this so wrong. Black market contract. Okay, that, that aligns with the... Oh, that was so poorly timed. Damn, I'm playing this terribly. Oh, he knows Iguaza, though. Quaza put a hit on me. No repair kits remaining. Holy shit, this guy is tough. At 30%. But then again, I, I played this pretty bad at the start. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn. Let me change my uh my chastis. Okay. Yeah, I played that pretty bad, because, uh, I just completely mind-blanked when he appeared. Let me change this. I think I can change my thrusters back, too. I was using something else. Or was it? I think it was this one. No, it was this one. Yeah. Now we're good. I gotta restart the mission? Damn, okay. Holy crap. Main system. Activating I didn't think it'd be that bad. Let's go. Okay. This is where the survey begins in earnest. Well, I know what to expect at least. Alright, I'll catch up quickly. Interesting, okay. But Iguaza... Iguaza's still alive, but he didn't ambush me here because I beat him. I beat him at the RAD area, so... He sent... He hired a cold call to kill me. Interesting, okay. Actually, I'd rather fight him here. Close ended area. gonna pulse now, right? No, not yet. Probably now, though. Come on, do it. I'm not getting close until you do. 
you guys in your shitty pulse armor. Now he does it. Okay. Holy, okay. Yeah, Iguasu. What a piece of shit guy. Interesting, but that panned out differently this time because uh, I beat him at uh, the RAD place. Okay, let me just check, is there anything else? No. Well, that explains one arena AC that I didn't encounter in the main story. Alright, now we're back in it. Okay, you can't kill this guy yet. I know, instead follow him here. He's gonna run away again. Then you have to go down here. This isn't a speedrun strat, it's just because I know. Ventilation duct identified. Looks like it's connected to the control room. Oh. Now this is a speedrun strat though. No, they locked the door. Okay. The lockdown. I the the nice. I technically just skipped them. I don't know, Walter. I guess I played this part already, that's why. But, uh... Oh wait, I can restock again? That's crazy, okay. I didn't take any damage. Alright, now I gotta deal with this guy. The, uh, Enforcer. Pretty tough, actually. I didn't like this boss. A bit too aggro for me. Termination mode. Let's do it. Okay. Supreme damage. Okay, that is a nice damage. Reload. Drone out. Oh, this is the ground town. Yeah, I remember that. And you're dead. I'm dead. Holy. One repair kit remaining. It's over. Good night. Okay, this thing combos really nicely. It has also like a really good follow up too. Like, this thing travels far when you lock on. Yep, time to proceed. Four twenty-two, nice. I wonder what's the max log you can get. 
maybe 15. There's not too many new missions, so there's not too many new enemies either. No new messages. All good. Oh, I do have some more money though, so I might as well buy some of the stuff that I'm missing. Yeah, buy that new generator. And I want to buy... Yeah, the bullet orbit. Let's try it, actually. I'll buy the one on my right. Yeah. I'll buy this too. There. Get out of the way. Let's see how it is instead of the orbit, because we've been using that for a while. Let's try using the bullet orbit. It weighs a bit more. The DPS is less too, but it has more ammo. And it probably shoots faster too. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Alright, next one. Depth 3. Back to work, 621. Depth 3 is next, and it's where our intel gets sparse. It's an underground cave, blocked at the end by a high-powered laser barrier. As long as it's in operation, no one's getting any deeper inside. Which brings me to the job. The laser is powered by a massive reactor. I want you to destroy it from the inside. Once the barrier's down, we'll step into the unknown. Where the coral's waiting for us. Okay, let's go. Walter, it's like he already knows where the coral convergence is. What makes him so confident? He play played NG Plus before I did, that's why. Walter's just, uh... He's a player surrogate, for those who know. Or maybe you've played the other ar five armored cores, I don't know. I have to look at the series, actually. See how, how dated the other armored core Destroy games the are. And the laser they have to be really old, because I've never heard of this series until now. Which means it's old, because I haven't heard of it. Watch your footing. You don't want to fall into those lasers. Yep. This is the one where I have to take cover. Threat level 8. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Don't let them shoot you down. High level threat. It's a step up from intruder. No sign of the corporations. Looks like we're the first ones here. Okay. So I can just head on down then, right? Yeah. Trace around the outside, 621. There must be a way in. Okay. Didn't do as much as I liked to him. But then again, he wasn't uh, direct damage. That's when I usually use it. Okay, time to head down. Feels so good though, the sound effects. Alright. Find the pressure chamber, 621. Destroy it. The resulting overload will cause the reactor core to explode. Do I need to kill you guys? Sure, I will. Oh nice, it has really good stagger, holy. That burst fire has super good, uh... Super good, um... Accuracy. And stagger. Alright, let's see if I can make it out of here without it closing now. Alright, check this out. Okay. 
Oh fuck, he spawns right away. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I just realized he uses the moonlight. What? He gets three hits on the moonlight? Why is he so tanky? Oh my god. Alright, clean back off for a while. Oh, the charged hit does so much damage though. That I can never land it. Oh. Wait, I just gotta wait him out now. He has terminal. I can use my terminal. <laughs> okay. Did you get it? Yep. Sloppy, but I did it. Elevator music. Don't mind me. You've got a job to do, six two one. Don't fail me now. Raven, you have to get clear. I have one minute left. It's gonna blow. Brace for impact. This explosion is like a D out of all the other explosions in the game. It's not that impressive. What if I try to fall down though? Oh. That was a close one. I'll never know. Look, the laser barrier's weakening. The coral's near. And so ends the mission. Walter's like, solid milestone, yes. Destroying buildings and big explosions. That's another one for the for the yearbook. Why is my dog barking so much this week? And actually no, he barks barks every week. How is the trip underground, Walter? The enforcement system silent at least. Tried to take six two one with it. Good thing it failed. Well, that deals with the PCA, then. What about the corpse? Archibus told us to wait before entering Terra Incognita. So you're close, then. The corpse won't be helping each other over the finish line. Yeah. Archibus wants Balaam out of the picture first. Looks like Archibus is gonna win the race no matter what. Short term, maybe. But I think 621's going to be the key in the end. And that's why I shouldn't be the one to choose which jobs we take. Sounds risky. Our friends must be getting antsy. Maybe. But I think 621's got friends to worry about, too. No new messages. Okay, then get out of my face then. Well, let's get back to dungeon delving. Raven, you've got a request from the Liberation Front to go with the order from Archibus. Oh, this might be new. Sent by yeah, this is definitely new. He's the de facto leader of the Liberation Front, and he wants to meet you. Wait, then why is why'd you say no new messages? Okay, because there's no new messages, Umbra. How about that? All right, let's buy some shit real quick. I'm gonna buy this for my other, just in case I want to run double. Okay. Yes, this is the option. Ambush the Vespers, intercept the Red Guns. And if I recall correctly, what I chose last time was... Intercept the Red Guns, yep. So this time we're going to do... Ambush the Vespers. Why do I get paid so little for this one? Oh, I get to kill V8 Pater. 
or no, V7 Pater, who's the... He's my liaison to the Vespers. And Hawkins. I don't think we've seen Hawkins before, but yeah. Cool. And I get friendly crafts too, nice. Okay. Yeah, so this time we're going to ambush the Vespers. But first, since this is going to be quite a difficult... Well, not difficult, but... Uh, it's straight into a boss fight, basically. I want to... I want to head back to my head back to my roots. As much as I, as I like the switchblade, I don't like the drag that it has. It's very ineffective. It keeps me locked in for a long time. So yeah. Hmm. As for this one, we'll, we'll keep it. Yeah. Yeah, I can keep using this one for now. The Huxley. I don't mind it. All right. I think I'm ready. Let's go. I'm excited. How is this going to play out? I have to be working with the guns then. Oh, no, it's the Rubicon. Right. Raven, I'll get straight to the point. Archibus leads the corporate forces, emboldened by assimilated PCA technology. But they're still human. Tired from the endless conflict between powers. Open to an attack on their key forces. We want you to eliminate two of the Vesper's numbered officers. V5 Hawkins, their officer overseeing the transport corps. V8 Pater, his adjutant. V8 Pater. We'll use false information to lure them out from their depth two survey, then ambush them. I will assist you on this mission. It'll be a good opportunity to catch up with a veteran. Oh shit, oh that's so cool. His AC name is Tsubasa. Uh, I look forward to your favorable response, It means uh, wings in, in Japanese. That's pretty cool. That's creative. Tsubasa. Wings. Alright, cool. So I get to team up with the RLF for once. That is quite something. Alright, let's do it. I'm sorry, Pater. I have nothing against you. You're actually a really nice guy. Or he plans to blackmail me. We'll see. You were sold out. That wouldn't be the first time. But nobody ends up winning once they sell out Umbra. Umbra always perseveres. Oh, there he is. Commence mission. This will be a joint operation with Metal Flatwell. The Liberation Front Commander. Yeah. They're coming, Raven. So, Whatever uh... Is right. So, uh... How, how's the wife? What could this emergency call from V2 be about, sir? That's just snail being snail, my boy. He loves to send his minions running. Sir, there'll be trouble if he hears that kind of talk. Targets confirmed. The Tetrapod is piloted by V5 Hawkins. V8 Pater has the reverse joint AC. Oh, they're so special. Those are two numbered Vespers. Ready when you are, Raven. Yeah, but uh, you know, I I, I want I want to learn more about you. You know, like uh, how's the weather? You know. V2 seems uh, to be delayed. It's uh. Classic snail, son. Loves to keep people waiting. Just humor him. Classic V2. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know P Pater was, uh... Okay, so Pater is ranked below Hawkins, but I've never, I've never seen Hawkins before. Sir, I understand V2 also oversees the re-education center? Oh, he does. They've been busy lately. You know what, Pater? <laughs> it's too quiet. Is it now? There. Hmm. Oh, fuck, they found us. See, the Vespers elites aren't easily rattled. Damn it, they were acting all along. <laughs> That's pretty cool, they found us. Raven. Is this how we meet yeah, sorry, Peter. <laughs> it's nothing personal, Peter. Yes, sir. This will be fun, sir. I'm about to send you to re education. Oh, 
Let me reload. There we go. Oh, wait, that's, uh, that's terminal, okay. Yeah, you're dead. Wait, he healed after. Oh, fuck, he did my strat. It's over, Pater. Forgive me, Pater. That's right. Although Rusty's... Rusty's kind of, uh... He's not exactly an honest guy. He's a double agent, too. I won't spoil it though for those who don't know. Well played. I'm withdrawing. Finish it, Raven. What? He killed you? Damn. Damn, he killed Flatwall. Not bad. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just waiting for my uh, my drone. Oh, he uses that one. Okay, that one's easy to use though. I just gotta fly up. Nice try, Hawkins. No, Flatwell. I hope Flatwell didn't die. <laughs> Did I mess up the timeline? I think that's the first time I had a companion die. Alright, next time I'm using the plasma to make sure he doesn't get offed. I do feel bad for killing Pater, though, I will admit. Pater was, like, the only nice... Okay, that's not true. Rusty's nice, too, but... No, P Pater was cool. He was he was the one giving me all my mission debriefings. One new message. And then he's like, oh, so this is the first time we meet, huh? And then I kill him. God damn it. About the request to attack the red guns. Sounds like V4 Rusty took care of it. Oh shit, so Rusty took my job. Dead. Or he went down fighting. Damn, so Rusty Bailons finished it. From Rubicon. The politicians will be fighting their war now. Oh, that's Where interesting. There's, coral, there's blood. Rusty's and pretty talented then. So Rusty had the he had the skills to take down Gun 1. Conflict wherever we go. Yes, we are. Also, that was pretty cool too because during the Ice Worm mission, Michigan praises um, Rusty for his uh, his sniper capabilities, and he's like, "Hey, son, want to join the the Red Guns?" And then Rusty's like, "It's an it's an honor to be praised by." Uh, he calls him the Hell on Four Legs, which is Michigan Michigan's uh, his like title, I guess. And he's like, "But I'm I'm good." And then he has the skills to take him down as well. So badass. Okay, anyways. Enough gassing the story. Time to proceed with the inevitable conflict right now. Six, two, one. We're picking up where we left off. Yeah. Now that you've dealt with the laser barrier, we can explore deeper underground. We've received a request from Archibus to continue the advanced survey. There was something else, too. Orders for Raven, Advanced Survey Squad. We've received some concerning information that an AC has been quietly following your trail. Archibus cannot tolerate unauthorized surveys that will put its coral interests at risk. Wait, this doesn't make any sense though. I just if finished killing Pater and Hawkins and they're still them. giving me work. And I just realized too. Nail is saying that an unknown AC is following me, but like, that's Rusty. But he doesn't know it's Rusty. Hmm. Interesting. Who could be following you? Yeah, I wonder who. It's obviously... V... the, the hidden Vesper. V0... Main system Umbra. Activating combat mode. That's me. Commence mission. V zero Umbra. I'm surprised there's no hidden Vesper. Yeah, like there is a 
V0. I wouldn't have expected that. Okay, but yeah. Something's jamming the radar. I will... Oh, I never got this before. What is this? I have to get this back to Uncle. Furlong agrees to provide technological assistance from the new model can finally be completed. He has to know before these two destroy each other. Huh. Wow. I didn't even know there was a, a record here. Cool. Oh yeah, I can ignore these worms, by the way, because, yeah, they don't do anything. They don't even give me any flipping points either. So it's pointless. Yep. Oh. Did I just scan something? <laughs> I just scanned a worm falling. Nope. Okay. I like just in case there's like a chest around here or something. Doesn't look like it though. All right. Let's get this over with. I knew you'd come, buddy. Go deal with a mercenary who went in alone, they said. <laughs> Figures. Seems both of us are too dangerous to keep around. And the higher-ups wouldn't miss an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. If you haven't realized it by now, Rusty works for the R uh, RLF. I, don't want to dance to their I came to realize that after because he was like, I'm coming, buddy. because he said Rubicon still needs me. Like, why would he care about Rubicon? Wait, what? Flatwell? Rusty, that pilot more than just ow! 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 Wait, wait, why is he attacking me too? Oh, I see it, Uncle, but potential and danger are birds of a feather. I wish it hadn't come to this. Raven, it's too late now. What do you mean it's too late? Bish, I just helped you. Okay, I see how it is. You're good. And that's not the only thing that makes you a threat. Okay. Wait, you're kidding me. So if I if I help out the RLF, I have to deal I have to I have to fight both of them? Oh my god. Okay, well I'm not gonna win this time, but that's good to know. Kill me already. Got to know each other. Okay, so this is how the RLF pays me back, huh? Alright. Alright. That's how you want to do things? That's how... No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I will change back to my plasma, though. I feel like I wasn't hitting too much. Okay. Let's give it a real shot now. And then I'll end the episode. I don't want to dance to their tune this time. I don't have any other choice. I'm coming, buddy. Hick. Six two one. Make it through this alive. Rusty, wait. Rusty, that pilot's more than. Just a hound. You don't see the potential. Oh, I thought he was here to help me out, honestly. Oh my god. I wish it hadn't 
I might have to use a new weapon. HP. So I wonder if, uh, I wonder if I should focus on him first. Hold on, Rusty's almost dead, though. There we go. I can't believe it. Why would you double cross me like this? I trusted you. But it's like Walter says, don't trust anyone on Rubicon. No, fucking kill Tsubasa. How did he evacuate? Tell me game. How the fuck did they evacuate? Coming from the bottom of the pit. Ain't evacuating Let's shit. Moving, you know it. Oh, it's a new cutscene, though. Institute City. Of course. No wonder we couldn't find it. Or it's a new variant of it, at least. Man, I can't, I can't believe Flatwell did that to me. That kind of makes me, like, that kind of diminishes my opinion that I have of Rusty now, too, because he's like, he knows that I helped out the RLF, and he still chose to fight a 2v1. Okay, never mind. Pater, you're my favorite now. I'm so sorry, Pater. Brothers and sisters consumed by the fires of Ibis. Only a few survived. But after all this time, they finally formed a new flock. Hater in Michigan was the best. It looks like Walter sent you a message. Let's take a look, Raven. And the worst is probably Iguaza. Iguaza's still the piece of shit. And the fact that I'm not even going to be able to kill him this playthrough is a shame. Because I killed him twice. But he didn't die. Let me tell you a story before you go. There once was a scientist. He abandoned his family to delve into the secrets of Coral. His work yielded a carnival of horrors, augmentation surgery included. But there was another scientist. He took his colleague's sins upon himself and set it all ablaze. Died with no regrets. There's a lesson in this story. Once something's alive, it doesn't die easy. 621. Story time's over. It's time for work. And we're like, 621, it's time to fight the Ibis model. Fuck. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that boss, honestly. Not very ideal for my handguns, I'll say that much. But, uh... Alright, just buy all some stuff real quick. And let's keep going. And we'll end the next episode, or we'll end it here, and we'll pick off with the end of chapter 4 next time. We might even finish the game next time, so stay tuned.